why are you not using that condom every time you have sex? How is that any of your business? Because I care about you. Though. No, you don't. Yes. yes. But, and because you ruined your life, you want to ruin mine. And because you have no life of your own, and I just hate Hello, the house. What is not this? Who is here? What do you want, baby? Thank you so much, love. If you come just as you are eating, so. Why me so unlucky, dear God? Stop one, so. you know, it's a good business opportunity. <laughs> Trust me, I am all the business that you need to keep you in the fine style that you use. <gasps> Dora Alexis Smart, where are you coming from? Who do you see? So I can fight them. Well, if there's anybody you want to fight, it's going to have to be me. So if it's not Jimmy, that means you're giving him one arm and like I suspect it. Let's not start arguing again. This film is rated PG. Parental guidance is suggested. This is a work of fiction with roles portrayed by professional actors. Names, characters, places, and incidents are either products of the writer's imagination or are used fictitiously. Any resemblance to actual events or locales or persons, living or dead, is entirely coincidental. stop doing it or you just stop growing. But it's not always a comfortable thing. They say life is a classroom and you just have to keep on moving no matter what comes at you. But what if what comes at you keeps coming hard and fast and leave you feeling overwhelmed and out of control? What do you do then? What do you do when it feels like all you're doing is learning how to fail and fall? You know, I'm not going to eat them dance party ever Everton. I do rage, you know? I tell you, if you do that, you want to young people that go in the place. I tell young people to spend the money. I lie, you are telling. Everton, right? Tell them not on them. Them spend them mother money. I'm mean, if I tell you. But school boy money done lunchtime, don't. Voila. When I go like a woman, I don't know what it is. All right, all right. Fun and joke aside, and what kind of party we have? Rayton, rock steady. <laughs> lie, you tell dancers. Reggae. Easy, easy. <laughs> Anybody else want to have confusion? Hey, what? How about you just have a party with a team? So that no matter what party you get, as long as they fit in with the team. That is so Makes bad. Sense. I want them to say you're an idiot. Nobody says that, Jimmy. No, we say it. Me, if I want to say that all the time. All right, no matter what fight. So, what going to be the theme then? Love. Awesome. Enough money and girl. Yes. Hold on. So I'm to the girls then. What got night for we? No most enough money. Oh, she said. Never talent for dunceness. <laughs> Better that than no talent a year artist then. Better than your mother. Stay a while on my own. Wait, stay a while on me. Slap you out of that chair, you. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Hello, I never realized anyone was in here I was looking all over the place. What's going on, Sheena? Okay, I'm just going to drop out the stuff later. Later, what's going on later? The workshop. Workshop. The workshop for the young people. Workshop for the young people. Why are you repeating everything about Mr. Nobody never tell you nothing. Nobody not telling nothing. Lord Jesus, I won't forget to tell him. Tony. Me not even know what I'm talking about. Jevy. I forgot to tell her, she do come down here while they she want to buy the space to keep some event for some young people. But I forgot to tell her, man, that. Event? All right, what kind of event? 
Teaching them about HIV and stuff. HIV? Yes, HIV. Oh, what is the HIV thing? Why not bring it up here, son? Bring what up here, Jeffy? Yeah. Jeffy! I'm confused. What just happened? Couldn't tell me. No, I don't mean because at this time. Shut up, man! Hey, that did bad, don't it? You know her, right? Yeah, I know her friend. Oh, you know her? You don't have a fret about that, man. So introduce me no better. Tell her the truth, you don't want another girl. That's she. My friend is that. You don't want to know she either. You know, say, I really don't want to know her. I feel like I need to know her. You ever hear them say, bird of a feather? Yo, yo, yo. You have to introduce me or not? Hey, man, just talk to her. I'm ready with you. Just introduce me to her. Simple. Yeah, right, talk to her. Hello? 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 Hi, Jimmy. Who this? That's how you answer the phone? Who this? Guess you don't need to play that game with me. This is Dora. Dora. Don't let me have to go through that whole thing of saying Carrie sells it to sister, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Yeah, man, of course I remember you. Yes, well, that's how I like to hear a man greet me. So how you been? It's been so long. Yeah, man, what's up? So dry? Anyways, I was in the neighborhood and I just thought I'd stop by. You in my neighborhood? <laughs> that does sound likely. I was nearby, so yeah, stay back to say hi. Well, today's not really a good day now. We have a lot going on. As we say, it makes sense, got too much going on right now. Really? Hey, Clara, what are you doing? This is my bridging. Not important. What is it? You heard me. Are this, are this me? You don't remember me? No. Well, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Tell me, what's your favorite number? My favorite number? Yes, your favorite number. So, I guess. Well, we are just that one. <laughs> so, go and wait. I know your turn yet. <laughs> Clara! <laughs> We just reached two. Still not your turn yet, baby. Style your style, man. <laughs> Which part are you, man? You don't remember. She doesn't know better still. Because you have no style. Hey, who are you talking to like that? Who are you walking away from like that? Chris! I think you don't remember my name. You're just as stubborn as a sister. Don't do it. So let's establish some rules. Rule one, we don't need to talk about my sister. We don't even have to mention her name. Rule two, whatever Dora wants, Dora gets. Boy, more like her than even know. I'm already disobeying rule one. Looks like I'm going to have to punish you. <clears throat> Jerry, come now. We have some people outside away from you. I forgot. We have another event. I can come with you. What do you want, Dora? If I tell you, you're going to have to kill you. <clears throat> oh, you're so stuffy and serious. Just chill. I see what you did there. <laughs> so you mind my name again now? I never tell you my name before. So you like to follow your friend dirty style and nasty behavior? Excuse me? Sorry. Why don't you know? What? What? What you say? What you say? What you name? My name, me know why you. What you just said to me? I joke, I joke, man, I joke, I joke. But that's why you see how things feel from my side. I mean, anybody can be nasty, right? Oh, so you're saying I'm nasty? No, 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 it's you. But your friend now? Does she write the nasty book? So you're going to diss my friend in front of me? Yeah. You should choose better friends. Them say, show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are. Oh, so I should choose better friends like who? I'm here now. Good act. 
afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. And my life is so much young people. It feels really good. Mama B, big up herself for allowing me to use your space to all of these lovely things. But before, before we go any further, let me introduce you to two of our special guests. We have Mrs. Candace Levermore from the Jamaica Aid Support for Life. And we have Mrs. Claudette Richards of Pius from Children First. This is a fabulous day, don't it? Yes. yes. And we want to talk to you about respect. So respect. In order to respect your sexual health, what do you think you first have to respect? Self. You have to respect yourself. So we talk about like HIV because we're here in Jamaica, not true? How many people live in Jamaica? Enough people. 2.8 million people we say live in this country. How many of them you think? We estimate to have HIV. Give me one 30, number. 30-something 30. 30 thousand. Yeah. Right. But the trick is, whilst we have the estimates, we don't necessarily have the people. We have not found everyone. And so it is very important for us to talk about HIV because it could mean that any one of us could be carrying the virus and we I don't, don't know. know. In order to know your status, what we have to do? So we have to get tested. Why do you think it is important to get tested? To know your status. It's and once you know your status, what else needs to happen? If you're positive, it means going on treatment and ensuring that you stay on it. And if you must have sex, because some of us, the hormones kicking, we have to make sure now that we use a condom every time. Because guess what? If you stay on treatment, what can happen, miss? Viral suppression. See? Respecting oh. yourself, you're going to make sure you go on the treatment, yes. you stay on the treatment, you get to suppression, you get to be non-detectable. And so you're you full life. Full life. Yeah, exactly. Miss Ashanti, we'll talk later, right? All right. You give him a number? Yes. Why you? Why not? You know the him can't do nothing for you, right? Excuse Clara. me. Chill. Yeah, Clara. Chill. I'll talk to you soon, Everton. Yeah, man, I'll text you. You're better. Well, that was interesting. Was it? Yeah. It's always good to talk about health stuff. HIV is a big deal. Is it? What? You don't see the advertisements about pinch, liver, inch, and roll, and use a condom every time. I mean, <laughs> if you don't know how to use a condom, I could always just teach you. So you use a condom every time? Of course, I use a condom every time. Why would you ask me that? I'm not stupid. Oh, it's so only stupid people get HIV. I wasn't saying that. I was just saying, wait, how did we get here? I was just... You ever do an HIV test? Of course. I come to my school one time, I did it. Have you ever done an HIV test? No, I never feel the need to. I always use a condom. Every time? Well, every time I have sex with somebody I don't trust. Oh, so you only can get HIV from people you don't trust. They never taught me that at school. Relax, man. Let's talk about something else. It's all right. I have some good. Don't be like that. Just give me five more minutes. Why? Because it was me. Okay. I love an obedient man. And I'm not hard to please. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And if you squeeze me the right way, all the good stuff come pouring out. Remind me not to squeeze it in, because that sounds painful. <laughs> a little pain can be good and fun sometimes. No, you know, trust me. I've had enough pain for last me a lifetime. Oh, my God. Why do you have to always sound like an old man? Oh, you know, just wise. Oh, so we're going back to thinking about Carrie Stop. I thought we made a deal. That we wouldn't mention her name and we wouldn't think about her. I know me call her name still. But you were thinking about her. Let's talk about something else. What do you want to talk about? The weather. Funny. The sun, look, it's gone. That means it's working. Out. Let's talk about you and me. There's no me and you. Of course. We just need to get reacquainted since I'm a big girl now. You're Carissa's little sister. Don't remind me. I'll take that as my cue. You see, a smart girl. No event to leave. But don't worry. I'll be back. Why? Because that smart girl also knows when she's wants to be good. Okay. 
Okay, Skid, stop. One second. <laughs> One second. No, I'm serious. Stop. Stop playing, man. I'm not playing. Do you have a condom or not? No, as usual. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? I'm leaving. Where are you? It's a new day, boo. No glove. No love. Since when? Since right now. Where are these from? From me. Yes. Don't babes me. I have no intention of getting HIV or any other STI. Mom, tell us you're alone have sex with. You think I have? I can't look on you and tell you what you have from what you do have. But I can tell you what I don't want. So you don't want me? I never said that, but if that's how you feel, then okay. All right, here you are. It's like on the first time we talk about this. I could just be one last time without condom. And then next time, I promise. You promise? I promise. You promise? It's from mother, babe. Your mother not dead. Say, so, so you know some serious man when I'm to mother. I'm gonna see you one last time. One last time? One last time. Let's make a deal. If you unlock your phone and allow me to read your messages for 10 minutes, then we can have sex one last time without a condom. <laughs> You're crazy. That's what I thought. You're mad. Why? Since I'm the only girl you're having sex with, it shouldn't be a problem. Or you don't want me to see the messages from your mother, right? What I know me alone you have sex with? I never ever told you that. I told you you were at least consistent. So we could be consistent one last time. We can be consistent 100 more times, but with a consistent condom. You serious? Uh, goodbye, kids. When you find the time and resources to buy one little condom. Big condom. Condom. I want to old win the ear drop off in the dance. Girl, you did that to me. You're still not Girl, bitch. Girl, just right off. What's up, honey? This is nothing to do with you. Really? It won't have anything to do with you, Carson. That's good. Big woman business. I guess that big. Listen, look here. I tell enough for now, we don't want no drama, so no fighting today. Me and Carlson now fight. After Carlson can live up to me. Mm -hmm. no, can you? Come, 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 Okay. All right, how about you link me tomorrow? 11 o'clock. All right, sure then. Carlton, you nasty nice top trick black people, boy, your music producer. Hey, I'm an arts manager, but that's not your business. You now make it stick to business. Hey. What's the problem, Diva? You. How oh, no. would you fight against my business? No, them set pull it up upon me. Are your fans? A family chat here, them something here. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Who are you, boss? Who are you, Tony? You know him? Yeah. You know him? Yes. What are you doing here? That's not your business. Well, it's my business, so who are you? Hey, your friend? How oh, my business become your business? It's all right, Carlton. Yeah, Carlton. It's all right, yeah? Let's back up, eh? Hey, leave the people them, please. Tony, I want to go on here, sir. Nothing, sir. This? Yo. This is nothing. Yo, watch your mouth, you know. Remember who you are dealing with, yeah? You know more that you're someone. Bossy, may I go to the pick up two things and come back here? Leave her, where are you going? Just tell you. Uh, Thank you. Wait, Diva. You sure about this? Yes. You know him? I'm a friend. You trust him? Yes. Take care of yourself. I will. Yo, Diva. Diva. Yes? Yeah. Forward, huh? I'm gonna like the vibes of that place then. Mm -hmm. I like all them two you that's a preview. 
Tony and Bay, what's the most come here? Them man, put on something and leave it to me. Tony and, how really just happened? Nobody no need to know your business. What you do is when you know your HIV status, you can take full control of your health. The TAPS project will test you in private and put you on the right path to keep you healthy. We maintain your confidentiality and we are willing to come to you wherever you are for easy access. A healthy you is a healthy Jamaica. It's better to know because knowing means no sweat, no fret. HIV negative equals keep doing the things that keep you HIV positive equals we support you 100% with all you need to be healthy. Did you know that if you have HIV with the right care and medication, you can practically eliminate it from being detected in your system in just eight weeks? Yes. In eight weeks, you can be virally suppressed. That means that them can't find it in your body. That means that you can't pass it on to nobody. Chum man, just come and find out if you're HIV positive or negative. In that kill you. Either way, we're with you all the way. With you all the way. Thank <laughs> you.